I would like to summarize uh, my talk uh, by again uh, insisting that One Health is currently the best operationalized uh, uh, strategy globally. It is recommended not only by the international organizations, but also by the G7. You have here, here the Carvis Bay Summit communique from 2021 that strengthen, uh, recommends strengthening One Health approaches worldwide. Now, doing One Health has also important philosophical consequences. Because if we don't look only at humans, we go away from anthropocentrism and we uh, address or we consider a multi-species ontology. And we move away also from positivism to consider multiple realities that are socially influenced. If we consider the knowledge of local communities, um, we include also the spiritual dimension of health. So there is a paradigmatic complementarity if we interact, for example, with Maya communities in Guatemala and the Western perspective or the Eastern perspective. So we take a multi-epistemic pers perspective and we walk away from Cartesian determinism and we work towards more process thinking, process philosophical thinking. These are the broader philosophical consequences if we don't look only at human health, but also at the health of animals and the environment. I don't go into more details on these philosophical consequences, but we should uh, indeed uh, address them uh, in a more, uh, in a deeper way.